Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. According to Davis's report, the U.S. Army's budget proposal for the fiscal year 2025 reflects a significant increase in funding for the Next Generation Squad Weapon, NGSW, project. This shift in financial allocation sees an increase from $132.909 million in previous fiscal periods to $367.292 million for FI 2025, with the intention of procuring 39,836 units across various segments. The detailed breakdown of allocations within the NGSW project includes $23.133 million designated for acquiring 1,772 units of the M250 automatic rifle, NGSWR, aimed at replacing the currently used M249 Squad Automatic Weapon, SAW, within the Close Combat Force. Additionally, $91.447 million is earmarked for purchasing 18,019 units of the M7 Rifle, NGSWR, intended to replace the M4A1 carbine in the same operational role. Moreover, a substantial sum of $252.712 million is allocated for procuring 20,045 units of the M157 fire control systems, slated for integration with the M7 rifle and the M250 automatic rifle to enhance combat effectiveness. The overarching objective of the NGSW project, as reflected in the budgetary figures, is to modernize and improve the Army's existing weapon systems. These updates aim to provide enhanced range, accuracy, and reduce detection through minimized muzzle flash and sound. Additionally, the project includes provisions for ramping up production capacities to meet specified deployment timelines. The project is identified with an ID code of B, indicating that the systems and weapons involved are currently in developmental and procurement phases and have not yet been integrated into active service. The budget outline for the NGSW project demonstrates a clear allocation of funds across different components, with no additional related program elements listed, signaling a focused investment in the NGSW initiative. Furthermore, the NGSW project exhibits an increase in both the number of units and total costs over the designated period. For instance, the M250 automatic rifle, NGSWR, has seen a notable increase from 251 units costing approximately $3.088 million in FI 2023 to 1,772 units at $23.133 million in FI 2025. Similarly, the M7 rifle, NGSWR, segment has escalated from 2,501 units costing around $14.253 million in FI 2023 to 18,019 units at $91.447 million in FI 2025. Additionally, the allocation for the M157 fire control system has expanded from 7,708 units costing $115.568 million in FI 2023 to 20,045 units at $252.712 million in FI 2025. The decision to replace the M4 carbine and M249 squad automatic weapon with the new M7 squad weapon and M250 squad automatic weapon marks a transition from 5.56mm rounds to 6.8mm rounds for the first time in over 65 years. The U.S. Army aims to enhance accuracy, range, and lethality with these new weapons, which are described as lightweight, featuring reduced recoil, improved barrel performance, and integrated sound and flash reduction at the muzzle. The selection of the M7 and M250 stemmed from a 2017 study indicating the inadequacy of 5.56mm rounds against modern body armor utilized by adversaries like Russia and China. General Mark Milley, then Army Chief of Staff, underscored the protective capability of new body armor against 5.56mm ammunition, prompting the initiation of the Next Generation Squad Weapon, NGSW, program in 2018. Sig Sauer was selected to provide the M7 and M250, along with the new 6.8mm ammunition. The new 6.8mm ammunition addresses concerns about penetration capabilities and is designed to be more effective against modern body armor and barriers. Tests have shown that 6.8mm rounds penetrated obstacles that typically deflected 5.56mm rounds. For example, during a live fire exercise in September 2023, multiple 6.8mm rounds penetrated cinder blocks and hit a target, whereas 5.56mm rounds did not achieve full penetration. In addition to ammunition upgrades, the M7 and M250 will feature advanced technological enhancements, including upgraded optical and thermal sights. They will also incorporate a new fire control system, offering computer-aided ballistics for improved targeting accuracy. This system enables soldiers to adjust for distance and bullet drop automatically, enhancing response times in combat situations. The fire control system, containing pre-programmed ballistics information, can be adapted for use with almost any small arms weapon in the Army's arsenal. While the close combat forces, consisting of 120,000 soldiers, will be the primary recipients of the new weaponry, the broader Army force will continue to utilize the M4 and M249 for the foreseeable future. That's all for now. See you later.